Hi guys, Raf Terra here with my first YouTube video. In this video, I will be showing you my 7 win expedition run with Zed and Sejuani. I know that this is a long video, so I will leave the timestamps in the description below. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks! Uh, let's play. Try to get 7 wins today. Okay. Discipline. So these. This uh, archetype has to do with hand buffs. The goal is to keep buffing Z. Solid one drop. Spirit's Refuge. It's not the best hand trap. It's not the best spell, but it's okay. Swain. I had a bit of difficulty when playing the Swain deck because he had a hand trap where you had to deal 3 damage to an ally unit in order to deal 3 damage to anything and I couldn't put it to good use I think I'll skip on Swain You have 5 plus power ally Kill all units with 4 or less power units It's a strong card Legion Dormer is a strong card as well Solid 2 drop that gives supported ally to attack Ezreal Do I try Ezreal? Overall, the champion is not that strong in Expedition because 3 mana 1 to the elusive. It's actually not bad. Eating Mystic Shot. And Punk Shredder. It's a good 5 drop. Eager Apprentice. It's a really, actually, really good 2 drop. Let's try Ezreal. Or Zed. Zed is the better 3 drop. Disappear Ionian deck. Let's try Zed. Z and Sejuan. Sejuan encourages a deck that's a bit aggressive and with lots of um, 1, 1 to 2 drops. If we go with this deck, our curve will be mostly centered from 0 to from 1 to 5, 1 to 5 mana. It peaks out at 6. But we still have late game options because of Preliord. Overall, Freljord is one of the strongest late game decks. Scar Mother Vrinya, when I survive damage, grant me plus 3 plus 0. It's reliably 6 mana, 6 8. Not immediately, but most likely it will reach 6 attack. Toothless Raider is a solid 2 drop. Maokai, I don't like playing Maokai in Expedition. Uh, Hapless Aristocrat is good for spider decks, but. I don't want to make a spider deck. We don't have Elise. There's no point in making a spider deck. Something tosses. Okay. Fizz. Could have done Ez and Ezreal and Fizz. Grant one cost allies everywhere plus one to zero. We have one cost so far. Prowling Cutthroat. Probably go with this raiding party set. Let's go with this. Wolf Rider is another strong card if you get a plunder. Otherwise, it's a below average 4 mana card. Greenblade Duo puts out the counter basically on the opponent's life. And it's good with Sejuani because with Elusive, if your opponent doesn't have an Elusive card, it's guaranteed damage per turn. Sinfu Life Blade. I never picked this card, but this card is. Highly rated in most tier lists. Maybe I'll get the discipline pack. Suta. Ruthless Raider. Mighty Borrow. I think I'll get this pack. Two pretty good cards. I'm not sure yet if Kinku Life Blade is a good card. We'll know this again. Razor Scale Hunter. It's a scout. I have not tried this card yet. Seems okay. Bubble Bear It's basically an elusive blocker Other than that, it's useless Someone who exact copies when I want their effort And no worry, Blade Spell Elusive Feral Mystic I have plus 4 plus 4 when enlightened Ideally, I don't want to pick this for the enlightened effect because I don't want the game to reach 
um, the catalyst of eons is useless for my deck. So just by process of elimination, this is a bad card, this is an okay card. These are pretty, pretty mediocre cards. I'll get uh, this back. Avori Conspirator to play me or call an ally. Another Kinku Life Play. We're playing Elusive. Lonely Poro. Fury of, Fury of the North. Fury of, Fury of the North is one of the strongest matchups. Rush, given ally, plus one plus zero, and quick attack this round. I don't like this one equate like too much. This is a synergy pick, right? So with each synergy pick, um, you have a higher chance of getting the same pack. This is a strong card. It's basically an assassinate sometimes. Play me recall an ally. Who do we want to recall? We want buffs on this guy. Maybe I'll take the rush and the sonic wave. Let's get this. Deny. Denying twin disciplines. Brittle steel and arrows and sentry. The nice a good utility card twin disciplines and they're good hand trap. Brittle steel. Okay. Three allies die this round, summon Vilma. I think I'll get useless. Maybe. And I don't want to get to suddenly be getting Shadow Isles cards. I take this. The Nine Twin Disciplines are better than these. Deep Meditation. Navori Blade Scout. I call an ally to create a fleeting returning hand. I'm an ally that costs impressive. <laughs> Twin disciplines. Take heart and scar maiden weaver. I like take heart. Scar maiden weaver is a good fire drop. We don't have any fire drops yet. Let's take this card. Claws of the dragon. Summon me once you've played two spells this round. Shadow assassin when you summon the the solid. Elixir of Iron and Ruthless Raider. Um, is it Claws of the Dragon and Ruthless Raider are bit equivalent? But I have an opportunity to get this out for free. Uh, I think we'll have a very spell heavy deck anyway. Elixir of Iron is solid, but Shadow Assassin gives us draw. Treat Draw Champion, Harsh Winds, plus Fight Boy. I'll maybe draft this. So another Sonic Wave and Twin Disciplines. Twin Disciplines is good, but I don't want another Sonic Wave. Scar Maiden Weaver and Fury of the North. The good map. Inspiring Mentor. Green Blade Elder. Inspiring Mentor is a must, I think. Fury of them. Let's take this. I like a try making Green Glade Elder work. But inspiring mentors. Babbling Berg. How many units do it have with 5 plus power? Only Sejuani so far. Pack mentality. Ruthless Raider. Inspiring student and Vori Conspirator. I might take this. Should I? How many one drops do we have? Let's take this. Another aspiring student, twin disciplines. So many seeds. Going all out with the handbox. Thunder. I don't want to borrow part. Uh, Twin Disciplines is very strong. Spying Student is a good one. Oh, we have two Spying Students already. Maybe I shouldn't have taken them. I'm not going to take any more one drops. Keeper of Masks. Deep Meditation. We have lots of spells. This will be useful. 
pair of masks is okay. I like shared spoils. They who endure would be a late game or late game card. Scarthane's Stephanus of the best Freljord cards together with a solid card up. Maybe I'll take this. I like shared spoils though. I take shared spoils. This doesn't give value immediately. Right, let's take Stefan and Bolano. We need some creatures in our mid range. Um, the Warrior Blades got in Sonic Wave. I don't want another Sonic Wave. I'm not a fan of the card. Okay. Pinku Wave Fighter. This might actually work. Double the power and health. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll be taking this. This will be my final late game cards. Just take Key Guardian, replaces itself, and grants um, Barrier. I don't want another late game card. Inspiring Mentor and Navori Highwayman. Um, I, I think I'm taking this. Scar Maiden Reaver and Mighty Borrow. We have too many three drops already. We don't have a five drop, but this is a pretty. Yeah, I'll take this. Okay, now we get to switch out stuff. Ember Maiden for the nine. Uh, Sonic Wave for Inspirement. I'm considering this. Okay. Deep Meditation for Rush. We can't use Deep Meditation. I'll take the inspiring man for me. Right, that's it for the draft. Our deck is an early game centric deck. Right? Have to win the first few rounds and then dominate from there. We're up against Brom and Fiora. don't have any good ways of dealing with Brom. No good ways of dealing with Fiora. Going to buff our Zed. It's a very strong 3 drop right now. How do you kill this guy? Two drop. Don't read it out. Just attack. You have a borrow deck. You have a Z. End the round. Hope he doesn't do anything sketchy. Uh, we don't want to summon the Z yet. If we summon the Z, we don't have anything to protect it. If she trades, her Fiora definitely has lesser value than my Z. But we can kill the Fiora now. I win this. We kill the Fiora now, and we don't get the uh, we attack on Zed, but at this point of the expedition, we only, we only have uh, what call this? we only have two heroes. Hmm. I think I attack, but it's You get the shadow attack. Don't care. We don't care.
<clears throat> what do we summon here? Talks with this, we just dump it. I think it's not really worth it to trade. Do I get anything if I summon this card? Let's just summon this and this, and we will buff our Scar Mother. We don't care about the two damage. Buff our scar mother. Okay. Our Z levels up next round. I don't care about this. Tip block. Level up soon. Um, question is, do we want to attack immediately? We have deny. Let's attack immediately with. Uh, do we have we attack? Do we attack or do we summon? We have the knight to protect. Just attack. <clears throat> Just shield with that for sure. <clears throat> Question is, does he have a hand buff? If he has a burst hand buff. I can. Okay, good. Our guy levels up as well. Summon a mighty poro. Have a quick attack with Edward right too. Don't really matter right now. Just summon this. End the turn. Mm. We sacrifice these. Set this up. Um, okay. So next turn. You have something? I want to free up. No. I can't free up anything, I think. Let's defend like this. What will he do? If he has anything to kill my Zed, I'll deny it. Okay. 
Oke, okay. ya selesai. Oke. Okay. We do the ephemeral thing. We have to kill this. Mm, need ten mana. We pass for now. Let's see what we draw. We attack right now with this. Let's do this. I'll summon one and kill this guy. Oh, it's a burst. So I don't get the choice to summon this. Now oh, this is useless. Just attack like this. Mm, do I attack with this? Just trade this out. And this is fine. <clears throat> I don't understand this interaction at all. I just summon a Poro for him basically. So it's a bug. I did not expect that counter. But that was probably okay because if he frostbited my Z. He first first invited my Z in the moment uh, it, it's, it was here already. Just lose the game. Four four. We pass first. We we'll probably be attack. Okay. Do we need to defend at all? Just want good trades now, right? Okay. We'll have a deny. We have to block this. We're at 13 health. Uh, what can we do? What can have overwhelm? Probably have to do this. 
have to do this. He takes seven, eleven damage. He takes eleven damage. Is there any way I can keep this card alive? We take 14. No, we don't take 11 damage. We lose if we don't block. Uh, I have to do this at least. We live like this, right? It's the only way I live, I think. Unless he has another buff. Take 5, take 2, 7, plus 4, 11. Summon's Borrow. Plus, plus one. Okay. Let's come on this guy. Or should we wait? He has six. If I all in next round, if we have only has four units, I get another unit. Three. This is sure to damage. So, first, so. He has no more units, right? Maybe I have to summon this and force him to block against everything. What will we draw? Nah, that's useless. Just all in. Uh, he will probably block this with this, block like this, block this, block like this. And we get 5 plus 2. This is our only chance to win. Yep, expected. That guy will die, guy will die. I hope he doesn't have anything. These don't have anything. Okay, we win. It was a close game. Another Z for sure. Scales of the dragon. Mm -hmm. Stone seeds. That definitely won me that game. <clears throat> Another Sejuani, Ember Maiden, and Take Heart. Take Heart will be useful. For a Brom. How many buffs do we have? How many buffs do we have that are useful with Brom? Take heart, it's useful. Need permanent buffs to make use of Brom. Token Wolf and Ember Maiden. Brom doesn't fit with our deck at all. Edge 1 is another late game option. Ember Maiden, do we have Ember Maiden? This is possible here. Take Heart is never bad. But maybe the second Z is better. Given that we have 
three inspiring mentors, the Z can really take off. I think I'll take the second Z. And the skills of the dragon. Getting lots of EXP from this these expeditions. Already at level 12, we give up. Okay. Uh, we can't use take heart yet. And uh, well, um, ideally we get a. Uh, I was just gonna say ideally we get an inspiring mentor, and then we got it. This one attack man transforms Z into a monster. Oh my god. You do that, right? He surrendered? Okay. I was just thinking of playing the Inspiring Mentor twice. Um, loss of the Dragon for Isaac. Nah. Rush for or Science Spirit Walker. Nah, I like Rush. It's kind of like an assassin. Dawn of Dusk for Green Grade Elder. Um, Dawn and Dusk can be game winning. We skip this trade. When those trade picks come up, basically I think of the scenario where in the late game, if I throw this card, would it feel better um, than drawing this card? So that's how I compare. So Dawn and Dusk in a late game scenario, I'd rather draw that than a Green Glade Elder. The same way with Rush. Not the same way with Rush, but we're signed for Rush. I think we need our spells anyway. We need some hand spells. We have lots of creatures already. Hmm. Bro. Do we keep the twin disciplines? Nah, we need a two drop. <gasps> oh my god. What's his champion spell? What's the shadow ship? Uh, let's make sure we summon the right Z. Oh my god. Can we get Shadow here? Bait him out. Bail him out, sorry. Bail him out if anything goes wrong. Uh, I want to greet it out. I regret that. You summon an ephemeral ally, granted plus one plus one. Okay. I like to trade with this. I don't want that to get value. Please trade. Okay. Okay. I'll take this trade. For sure. Maybe I should. I don't want him to, get, to be getting. My god. Green Glade Elder is actually good now. But I need to summon Stefan. Kill the Z. This way. What does he have? Is that really the right play for him? Not sure. Now the question is do we push for the 6 damage? And power up our Z? 
Now let's not get greedy. It's time for my Zed to shine now. That was a weird play for him to still attack. No, he's blocking it. Okay. Okay, we just attack right now. I hope he doesn't have a hand trap. Does he have a hand trap? He doesn't have a hand trap. He's hesitating. Okay, he has a hand trap. But we have another way. It's the hand trap. Okay, he doesn't have a hand trap. We level up the Z. Oh no no, he prevents the damage, right? That's a weird mechanic actually. How come attacks don't follow through? If he puts a creature creature and then the creature dies. That's one thing that I don't get about this game. Playing very weirdly right now. Uh, we want to wait for this. This will probably die. We need to rush, right? We just pass. I summoned it because I summoned it because yeah. I summoned it because of this exactly. What? Is there a difference? Yeah, I summoned it because of this exactly. What? Yeah, at least it, do it doesn't die. Um, not bad. I have another Zed. I hope he's running out of steam right now. Uh, we summon this first. Let's see how he reacts. Okay. okay. So in the Zed next, we attack with this. Should not have any hand traps. Living Shadow. Living Shadow had quick quick attack. It'd be super OP. Don't level this guy up for sure. The green blade is super value right now. Changing this Scar Maiden Reaver from 5 health to 6 health is a big deal. Same with this Scar Mother of Rain. Oh god. Okay. Doesn't get to kill my Zed. Uh, we summon this because it heals up. We can make trades with this card. Doesn't feel good to take the Z now. Uh, summon this. We're gonna trade well and then prepare for an all in next round. Let's take this. It's the only trade he has. Can't do shit. So next turn, he can't trade well with any of these three. But he, he can't trade well with this. Otherwise, everything else dies. Uh, we just attack like this. Um, he'll block with everything. If he blocks with everything, 
Then we get hit. So we. Uh, it's not necessary to do this. We're not gonna finish him off anyway, so we just save this for later. Just gonna do this. That's a trade that. He has no good trades to make right now. Except if he has a hand buff, trade buff this. I'm killing my Zen. Should I have baited out some spells first? Maybe what I should have done is summon this first and try to bait out his mana. Make sure he doesn't have enough. He doesn't have any hand traps to. Looks like he doesn't have any hand traps anyway. That, but that was really just lucky for me. I think the right play. Okay. I think the right play there would be. to let him use up his mana first. I'll summon this next round and then this on my turn. The right play there would be to make him use up his mana first. Okay. And then... And then attack. Because we don't want to... We don't want to be baited out into a situation where our Z dies unnecessarily, but we were lucky there that he didn't have a hand trap. A quick attack. Is that a burst card? It's a burst card. It keeps tossing. He has 10 cards left. Oh, will he get? Will he get the level up? Let's summon this. Let's do obliterate the enemy deck. Leaving four non champions. Alright. Obliterate my entire deck. He will get, probably get this off. It's too late for him. Okay. I should have summoned this. I should not have summoned that card. We have that guy dies. Crush. Okay. I should not have summoned the Kinku Life Blade for sure. Rip deck. Oh, this guy lives. We just summon this. He takes two. He takes. We just summon this. We end the round. Then just attack. What? Why? Elusive. The claim you're calling on me. We all in right now. But we could just lose if he has a hand shot. What's the play here? We just get. Yeah, let's play it like this. We get two elusives with four attack to display. Doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Sure. I get another elusive. Can you do against this? 
I hope you don't have a deal one damage or deal to damage card. If I attack earlier, then he has a hand trap that kills this. It would be very hard to win, so what I did was bait out his spells first. And we can even quick attack this. Probably has nothing. Is he even thinking about you have two cards? If you have something to counter me, you just bait right now. It's a burst, right? It's a burst, so we can cast it when he defends. out of time just attack the elusives you can't block them the bm and the discord attack okay it's a burst looking for something what's that it those three he lies three doesn't kill your nexus. Just BM. GG. Get on our Z. Green guy duo when you're sorry. I don't like your sorry. Maybe he's a good finisher because he has a good save. The Juani shared spoils and Ember Nathan. Didn't you offer me exactly this? A while ago? Grom Ember Ma It's the exact. These, these were the exact same. Acts that were offered to me. I want another Z. Let's add another Z. The Z deck now. And it's such an, an achievement. I want our Z. But this isn't that this is not bad as well. I want our Z. Give me my Z. I didn't get my Z. I have three Zs and I didn't get it. No Zs for me. Oof. Something that actually trades well. Not getting our Zeds. I'm not sure if I, if I did that right. Go well, and crush both of you. Three, it's our deck. Our field, I guess. We're not gonna get our Z this game. Want to trade unnecessarily. Hey, Onion Dex. Don't have enough to buff these cards. What's this? Fulfill one spell and I draw one. Okay. Don't have anything to kill this Twisted Fate. We don't have anything to kill Bakro actually. He draw two. He will draw two. It's pretty scary what does this do? The first few times. It's pretty strong. 
Um, let's bait out some spells. Some monsters, I mean. It's gonna draw a lot with this. Yeah. But we can't attack with Zed because he has this. With the knife. With the knife. Indeed, with the knife. With the knife, my dear. Okay. I think we can do it over. Uh, yeah, we just did. This TF is getting scary. He draws another one. This TF is getting scary and scary. We have nothing to kill it. Um, what's the play here? We have three mana to kill that count now. Need to bait it out though. Let's bait it out. We pass first. No need to do anything yet. Yeah, we kill the gang block. Let's do this. Baited it out. Exact copies. What time he has another mystic shot? And this becomes an even trade. He just wants to keep this TF safe. Elusive. Um, what do you want to do? Let's basically use this card. We want to force him to. Defend with his TF. Uh, let's try to make him summon as many as. His TF will level up. The first time I'm seeing a TF level up. Um, we want to return anything to him. This is the, the first three times I see you play a card, play a destiny card. I don't even want to can already imagine. Does he get to choose the destiny card? Or is it random? I'll do this. something that doesn't die. I hope he doesn't have a buff. It's TF man. Even I like it. What does it see? What's happening? Oh god. I should have God. The place. It's gonna get so much value out of this TF. 
I'm going to kill the deer. I have nothing to kill backlines, man. We got literally nothing to kill the backline. Maybe the play now is to just keep buffing this guy. Get done in dusk. Oh my god. Do you have a Sejuani? No, we didn't. How do you beat that? Mm -hmm. A deep card? Why did I make that sound? I didn't make that sound. Uh, each round, bro. So unfair. I see he has no powder keg, I guess. Our only way to win is to buff this up. Then attack with the buffed up version. Cast. Oh my god. Um, how do I even do that? He has a deep card and it's double? Very deep. Vulnerable and frostbite, but I can't. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this deer, man. I don't care. I'm gonna kill this deer. This is our only way of killing any backlines. It's the weakness of the deck. Encounter demons as well. This is the point. Mana defuse? Eight. We just had enough, enough of this card. Had enough of you. Uh, who do we want to? That's three. We'll go along. Will this go a long way? This will go a longer way. I think we lose, man. This has to attack now. I have to defend. Okay. Uh, if we summon anything and then he attacks, we just lose, right? We have to use Dawn and Dust here. We have to defend against this and this refer, so these guys die. The next turn we die anyway. We summon another guy, or if this guy do the rest of it. Should have buffed this instead. Now maybe we get another turn to live. But I don't think we have any cards that can turn this game around. But yeah, man. It's the weakness of my draft. Okay. I still have one HP left. Don't worry. Some of this guy. What happens if I 
call an ally. I recall this. Okay, it gets burst of an arc. That makes sense. Of course, it doesn't get the. Uh... Makes sense. I have a mystic shot. It's seven. You have no way of killing backline guards, man. Uh, ancient DIP for the Imperium. I'll take the Imperium first. That's the weakness of the deck we hold. Yeah. We have no way of. Okay. The aim that this or this. Let's go with Greenblade Duo. Put him on a timer. And he will challenge. It's cool though, we can uh, we don't want to summon our Z immediately. Sure. I'll do that. Winner. Are we in a rush? This way. We just want to take the four. Do we block? Maybe we block. This way, our Z can. No, we should not have blocked. We should not have blocked. We have taken the four damage. Or. Because if we summon the Z anyway, it's okay to block. If we summon the Z and then we attack, we will block against this anyway. At least now, he can't block like this, and he can't block like this. And we prevented the damage. Um, we summon the Z, for sure. I hope he doesn't have any... I don't think the Masha and Ionia have any deal. Here's what's called. Let's do this, right? We have after this. I think we go. That's a win in my book. You great elder man. Value, hashtag value. Good right now. Have the green blade duo. We summon elder and duo. Yeah, we summon elder and duo. I want to defend against that. I gotta defend against this. Fuck it. Fuck it. You can take the mic home with you. By all means. By all means.
and this. Stuff like this. Just do this. I don't even care. I just want to use this card for once. Not exact, exact, exact copy, right? Exact copies. Why is this only three at that? That's the plus one plus zero from soon seeds. Maybe it just doesn't show it. I can't attack with the real one. We'll block it with that. I'm not sure if they have 4 attack or 3 attack. That's the thing. Take this. We'll take that trade any day of the week. Move this trader. We want the draw one. Take the Z. Um, that's 9 damage, we need to block. Let's get blocked. 3 attack next turn, we win. Uh, we have... We want to play Z for sure. Um, so who do we take now? We want to play this card for sure. and we want set as well. So we play this first and then we recall this guy. We recall this guy and then we attack first turn next turn. Don't care about guy. Just attack right now. He has nothing to defend. Okay. We save ourselves from elimination. We just want five wins. Consistently five wins, that's the goal. This deck is strong enough to have five wins. The Warrior Highway versus Twin Disciplines. I think we need the Twin Disciplines, man. I think we need the twin disciplines. We need more hand traps for sure. Uh, I have lots of illusions. I want the twin disciplines. We need more. We can draft it to a few hand traps. We need something to save our Z. Z dies to a lot of stuff. But we lose our good early game to drop, but I think acceptable, it's okay. Do we want the scout? We have better one drops, right? Or is it just two that it's free to damage, let's just take it. I didn't get any chance to use this yet. Play card. Elusive smear.
But if I threw it away and got a 4 cost card, further Now we get to buff our Z at least. Let's do cool. Summon a dragon link. What's a dragon link? Oh, if you cast two spells last round. Okay. That sounded too OP. This now our Z kills it. Here? You can trade this. Take it for free. I'll take it for free. What's this bit? Frelly Ward. Everything's gonna die next round. Yes, all in. At least now, he needs to defend. Ooh, we get to play this on Zed. We get to play it on Zed. We definitely play this on Zed. We get a 7 3 quick attack, quick attack. How do you kill that? Wait, wait, wait. Do we have to bait out anything? We can only cast this or this, and we need to cast this. Ideally, we would attack with both, because I don't want to trade. We skip block. This guy dies. You attack immediately. You want the level up. Attack immediately. Or do we get the Yusari in first? Just, in, just to be sure. Do we use this? Hold on. We're gonna do that. Might as well summon this first. Are we gonna do that? Let's bait out his mana first. Okay, Scar Maiden Weaver. We're gonna do it, we're doing it. He has no mana, I think he loses. What do you do? You just lose against this, right? Why? I thought it says exact copy, so why is it not summoning an exact copy? This is so confusing. Why are why are these not exact copies? This is insane. 35 damage? We're not getting that much EXP anymore, so at least we got the 5 wins now. Spirit's Refuge for Fury of the North. Warrior and Lifesteal versus... I think I like Fury of the North better because we're not really in a situation where we're hanging on for life points. Ruthless Raider for Navori Hill Scout. Um, not really worth the trade. I'll take the Fury of the North. North. The book. An opponent has a higher health. The The barrier and life still won't really allow me to kill it. But if I take the fear of the north, I can kill higher health enemies. And at the same time protect my, my woman. 
Um, we throw away out of this. We want the... Okay, not bad. We have something to protect the Z at least. And you get a green gate duel. Puts his life on a timer. We take the free 2 damage. This is a Z deck as well. Get the buff faster than I did. I have twin disciplines to deal with Z though. Hopefully. Okay. Are you doing the exact same thing? Um, what a trade. A trade, sure. We get the attack next round. Battle of the Agro. Let's get this out first. We want a buff Z more than anything. He has a Z. He totally has a Z. I'm not gonna trade it. Because I have this. That's a zit. I feel the zit. You have a zit. Okay, he buffed that. Is that a good summon right now? He buffed something. If it was a Z, it has 5 attack right now. This might be a better summon for now. Okay, this is a better summon for now. Because we're just all in with it. Immediately next turn. But can I defend against that? I don't mind. Uh, do we just attack? Yeah, we just attack. Okay. Okay. At least we have something to save the Z just in case. What will be some? Still hasn't summoned. Do I need to? Do I need to summon? I don't want to be taking too much damage right now. Summon this as well. Now I get why this is. Still hiding something, he still hasn't put out the unit that he buffed earlier. And I'll bust out my buffs as well. He's hiding something. What are you hiding? Still didn't bring out the unit that he buffed with the inspiring mentor. Oh yeah, so it's not a Z. I was getting scared for no reason. But it was a Z. Cool. I'll definitely kill this, right? 
I'm gonna trade like this. And I trade like this. Sure about this play, but nice. I will attack with a Z again immediately. Oof, first I have two pin disciplines now. We want to use it. We need to do it like this uh, and with that. Probably. You need to rush it. Let's play it safe. We don't want to be put in a position where we have to trade with the. Where we have to use the twin disciplines just to bail out our. This card, full Elnook, Elnook, full Elnook. Maybe we should have because we won't do anything with our mana. It's fine. Karma. Karma. We have to finish this soon. Or else she will get some a lot of value from that farm. Okay, okay. That's H1 coming to. I think we have to summon Sejuani and all in next turn. Oh god, let's summon Sejuani. Okay. We summon it now. We have to summon it now. has to attack. Because he loses. That really loses me. I think he has to attack. Okay, I'm gonna do some trades. Challenger this round. Go take my Z. I'm fine with that. I can buff it plus three. You can push it up to seven. Basically, our Z will not live through this round. Because he'll just buff it with plus 2, 7. And only push it to 7 health. This burst? This burst. And we can't deny it anyway. Alright, Z. Live the good life. Good life. I think we have a chance to patch him up right next round. Let's 
that. Okay, let's there call it. Means he's running out of cards, right? Oh, no one is not right. Let me just win. You can't add any more units, right? So five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He dies. These are all burst. These are all burst cards, man. You have to defend against me, man. Now to defend against me. Can't, can't add any more units. Six wins! Fury of the North or Twin Disciplines. I definitely need Fury of the Claws of the Dragon for Wolf Rider. Car things defend for Yusari. We have a Yusari. We have one Yusari. I like, I like Wolf Rider better than Cost of the Dragon. Oh, we got Hydrates. Right. Scar Mother, Scar Maiden Weaver. For Scar Mother Verinia. Ember Maiden for Scales of the Dragon. Spying Student for. The Vori Conspirator. Ember Maiden. I don't think we want too much scales of the dragon. Or do we? General, which is better? This could offer us some weight here. But it kills our units. I don't think. Oh, we can. We can switch to. Um, do we want that? Do you want our fire drops and stuff? Spying student? Do you want another spying student? Elusive is strong. Scar mother for kin to life blade. Uh, I want another kin to life blade. Rush for Scar Maiden Reaver from. Keeper of Masks for Navori Blade Scout. I'm not sure which is better. This has not been useful yet. This is a pain in the ass to deal with. Let's get another King Cool Life Blade. Let's just try. I'm not gonna give away my favorite now. Inspiring Mentor for Twin Disciplines. How many Twin Disciplines do we have? We have three. How many Inspiring We have three Inspiring Mentors. I think three and three is a good mix. Dawn and Dusk for Battle Fury. Red and Ally plus 8 plus 4. Um, Dawn and Dusk can be game winning because we have three Zeds. Inspiring Mentor, I think right now we're at a good mix of 3 and 3. three, and three. Fist of the North for Kinku Life Blade. Kinku Life Blade is enough at 2. Um, Wolf Rider for Fuel. I'm taking this. So what other first? Jewel Protector for Deny. Battle Fury for Bow. I'll take the Fury of the North. 
Oh, I can do the battle here. Okay. Battle here is too much. Sown seeds for Scar Mother. Wolf Rider for Yusari. When I'm summoned, give other allies plus two plus two this round. When this happens. I'm tempted to get the Yusari. Let's get the Yusari. I like my elusives. You only get final battle. You only get one chance to get your 7th win. Will we get our 7th win or will we choke again like we did yesterday? I hope we get our 7th win. This will be our first YouTube video if we do. Um, we don't want this yet. I would keep, would not keep this. I think we get another Z, which is inevitable yet because we have Z so far. You, for those of you thinking that this is lucky, not really because we have three Zs. We're bound to get it on the first round, first of our games. Especially since this is only a 35 card deck. Put him on a timer. What is that? Okay. I don't mind. I'm gonna put you on a timer. Let's skip this. Skip this block. We shall not choke. Um, uh, what's his deck? He has built over Bilgewater and Shadow Wilds. What could kill my Zed? Okay, he has a challenger. You just attack. Anyway, you'd probably defend. Does he have deep? Probably doesn't have deep, right? We can save our Z next round with twin disciplines. Probably take my Z and save it with the we get another twin discipline we get to keep our Z safe. Okay. I see a deep deck, he's a deep deck. We pass first. We challenge my Z, right? I want to kill this, it has life steal. Let's kill it. Just three this round goes up to five. I hope he doesn't have the thing that deals one damage to a unit and then one damage to the nexus. I hope we, I hope he doesn't have that. He's not happy. He doesn't have. Cool. And we get another Z. It's a dot. We level up the Z. We have shadow shit. Let me level up, bro. You have a burst? Okay, four cards. He's a Maokai Nautilus deck. We have to finish him really fast before he gets deep. And I 
out of cards. Okay, six damage. We get level up. Okay. What are his outs right now? Not sure. We'll summon the Kinku next. Okay. Give me an elusive creature for you. More elusives. Um, what's the play here? Let's summon this first. God. Can smell it. Let's not celebrate first. Okay, he has a vulnerable on that. No. Um, let's pass first. Our Z dice, right? Unless we save it. Unless we save it. Can save it. Save it. That is what you are. We save it. What will you do? I can smell the wind. I'm someone toss three. I don't care. Um, do we just attack? We get four damage for free. We just win. Let's see how he defends and then play from that. I can smell the seven wins. Uh, he gets 12. He gets 12 health. He doesn't get 12. Okay, he stuns that guy. Um, so, 2. These are burst, right? So we get 4 damage, we get 10 damage, we just win. Do we distribute it? Please, don't have anything. Our first fully recorded 7 wins video! This will be our first YouTube video! Nice! Trial complete! So that's the video. Thank you for watching my 7 win expedition. If you think that I made any misplays throughout that run, or if you think I chose the wrong packs or cards during my deck building, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this type of content, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, bye-bye!